All right, turning to your health, if you picked up a pickleball paddle, tried Pilates, or joined the millions of Americans who walked more for cardio last year, you took part in some of 2022's biggest fitness trends. But with the start of a new year, it's time to look forward to see what you're going to move to next. And here to discuss some of the biggest fitness trends for 2023 is Christine Lucita. She is a health and lifestyle expert and author of the best-selling book, The Right Formula. Christine, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you as well. Um, so I feel like the last couple years was just very chill in terms of like fitness trends. What, what are you seeing for this coming year? For 2023, um, first of all, we are headed back to the gym. Amen. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the gym is now going to be used as more of a building a community, which is really, um, you know, going to be helpful in getting ourselves back and oriented. Um, we're also using exercise as a mental health tool because we're really prioritizing our mental health as a, uh, actually it was one of the number one top resolutions of the year. And going back into the gym, so we're gonna be looking, you're seeing uh, recovery workouts popping up all over the country. Think yoga, Pilates, stretching, even mobility exercises are a huge, huge trend. Anything that we can sort of self-connect and reorient and uh, give a positive message to our body. We're also gonna be seeing functional training, which is just really replicating those movements that you do in your everyday life so you can perform them better and prevent injury. Um, also, virtual reality workouts are a huge thing right now, so no wow. more drab workouts in your basement. <laughs> you know, it's, we're going to be putting on these headsets uh, as this um, business really grows, and by 2029, they're expected the virtual reality workouts to be an $80 billion workout. Oh. Apple is going to release a headset in 2023. It's a rumor, but we know how those rumors go. <laughs> <laughs> when we see this headset, right, it'll become reality. Exactly. And then the last one is standing abs. If you're on TikTok, oh. you'll know you want to go check out the hashtag standing abs. And it's oh. the perfect opportunity to do your ab exercises again in a functional way where you're standing because we are a society who is already so hunched over from all of our technology and forward flexion. So this is a great way to add in posture work and a really fun tre uh, trend and you'll see over 22 million workouts on TikTok. Wow. Oh my so gosh. These are where the head the, tre the trends are heading. Think moderation. That's good. Moderation is key. Yeah. <laughs> no, especially when it comes to diets as well, right? Yeah. I understand a lot of people, they want to lose weight at the beginning of the year, but you also got to keep that moderation, right? In terms of keeping your diet healthy. Um, I understand Mediterranean diets, that's, that has been very popular. Is that yes. still kind of the case this year? Exactly. Mo we're thinking of moderation, sustainability, and heart health diets. So the Mediterranean, it's an anti-inflammatory diet. It focuses on lean proteins and healthy monounsaturated fats. Um, the next one is the DASH diet. So, yeah. Exactly, it really is preventing hypertension. Okay, and then the other one is the flexitarian, which is a semi-vegetarian diet, which still allows you to eat meats, but also have the benefits of living a, um, a vegetarian lifestyle. And then there's also the MIND diet, which really combines the DASH diet and the Mediterranean diet, but it focuses on foods that are good for brain health. And then lastly, it's the TLC diet, which is therapeutic lifestyle changes, which focuses on um, lowering your cholesterol. And these are all the rated for 2023, the five best overall diets by US News World Report. I love the flexibility with this, right? It seems like there's a lot of options here. So. Exactly, there's something for everyone there. And again, it's all about moderation and sustaining. Keep diet. there. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. I think we should really redefine what the word diet means. It really means delicious, intuitive eating that lasts. And a diet is really meant to kick off uh, a change that you can actually sustain. And stick to. Yes. And uh, before we let you go, your book, The Right Fit Formula, it really uses personality type, right, to kind of find the right uh, fitness workout and diet. Tell me more about that. Exactly. It's a whole body approach to, um, to diet, fitness, and stress reduction. You take a really fun quick personality quiz to help you align and match with the right food plans, workouts, and stress reduction for you. And most people are so excited to know that you don't have to change who you are to be successful. You just have to know who you are and use it to your advantage. That sounds great. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.